Hey y'all, it's Joey again. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you for all my subscribers. I'm at 169, um, hopefully to reach two, 200 soon. Uh, it's just for fun for me. I'm not trying to make money off of YouTube. I don't get free things or anything like that. All the knives that I review are my knives and my purchases. I guess to get that out of the way, I had collected all of the cold steel collection that was made of 4116 Krupp German stainless. And uh, while it's very stain resistant and rust resistant, you look up uh, Nut and Fancy has a video on it. And uh, there's a couple other out there. But anyway, uh, I am unimpressed with the steel. I never really used it until never really used it like for a, a period of time um, until the the other day when I went squirrel hunting I'm more into deer hunting but uh, deer hunting is start starting late here in Louisiana on in my section of Louisiana so uh, I basically just killed a bunch of squirrels and all right I'm just gonna show you real quick just to make this short uh, this is the Tonto version, the Tonto Light. Hey, for self-defense, they'd be great. I mean, this right here, I don't carry any any of these for self-defense because the the sheaths are terrible, and I don't think the knife is worthy enough for a custom Kydex from uh, Jesse Myers of Armor Sheaths. Um, that's who does all my custom anyway. Uh, this one here is the Outdoorsman Light. But like, if you're on a budget, I mean, sure, if you don't mind sharpening your knives every time you use them, they go right ahead. They're very stain resistant. I can say that, I live in Louisiana. Here's your roach belly. And I did uh, stipple this one. Well, I used a hot, I used a, a, a soldering iron with, without the solder, uh, basically to, uh, get this handle some grip because it had no grip and I just thought hey it's cheap if I mess it up who cares and it really 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 provides some good traction uh I don't know if that's going to show up on my hand or not but um anyway I like I like the knives don't get me wrong uh I'm not making the video to bash cold steel or bash any of the 4116 products uh the steel I'm just saying, here's your belt knife that I do. I'm just showing the whole collection to show that I do have the whole collection. I have used them. This one I've used a lot in the kitchen. I probably should have used this one on the squirrels, but I didn't. I used the Cold Steel uh, Pendleton Light. Um, this is the Finn Bear. It just didn't have enough belly for me. Maybe cleaning fish, but you know, it's just not quite what I wanted for you know doing squirrels so anyway all right this is the kershaw disc and hunter sheath um i got a better sheath for actually jesse myers from armor sheaths made me a sheath for the ontario blackbird and uh i put the black i used the blackbird's old sheath for the disc and hunter and this one uh graduated over to the cold steel pendleton light hunter and I don't know if that's going to pick up. Probably not. Been having problems with my camera lately. But anyway, you can get the gist. It's the Cold Steel Pendleton Hunter. I mean, you know what it looks like. You've seen it. I'm sure they're all cheap knives. They're all under $15. Um, basically, all right, I took a squirrel and I cleaned the squirrels one hand. I mean, uh, not one handed by myself i guess basically i, I do a, cro a cross cut across their back and i pull apart i mean i get in you know a little bit on the sides but basically the belly the skin on the belly is softer so i can just tear it apart after cleaning one squirrel with this knife it would not cut through the hide of the second one and this knife was razor blade sharp they get razor sharp um the 4116 krupp is highly stain resistant and very it takes an edge very very quickly i mean you the spider co sharp maker i'm talking two two strokes down each side of the course uh maybe three down each side of the fine and you really don't even need the ultra fine but i used the ultra fine anyway and did like two strokes on each side really I'd, i probably one would have done it but one side grabbed my thumb a little more than the other side so i had to go back and uh it's the only reason it took that much for that and just to show you, I mean, I know this is paper, 
but it's the easiest way without ruining a bunch of paracord to show you sharpness since so many people use it but just to show you that you know it'll take a very very clean clean egg well i caught the caught the uh the base right here in that one but anyway it'll take a very clean egg and this is like i barely stropped it i'm i mean i barely uh i barely touched it up with the with the sharp maker now now it's gonna mess up look it's already <laughs> It's kind of funny because it's already messing up. So uh, just to show you cutting paper, I can't even cut a piece of paper all the way through with this knife. And the rate and the, the eggs is at 20 degrees. So that just goes to show you that I didn't make the eggs too acute. So it shouldn't be happening. God bless.